original. I mean, when when is that? He's always been his own little. Uh, he's always been a copy from like the beginning yeah. of Melee. So it's nice to get a little change pace. You know, now he's got his own little his own little content. Now he can't even be the master of that. But whatever. Yeah, here we go, folks. Roy versus Wolf here. And it's going to be a lot of that. So I feel like this matchup is going to be kind of uh, it's going to be kind of a bloodbath on both ends because both these characters like to fight in each other's sweet spots. You know, Wolf really wants to get up in your face, really convert off of those uh, you know close range neutral airs and forward airs. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of the same uh, coming out from Roy because he's going to have a sword to play with. So right. We'll Absolutely. see how things work out. I mean, and one thing about Roy and a lot of characters that do kind of rely on those little really quick meaty one twos is that uh, landing options are just definitely going to be something you're going to want to watch out for. And you're going to see a lot of that in the mind game where you know you get a landing uh, aerial and then buffered spot dodge and then them taking advantage of that spot dodge. Yeah, yeah. but a great call out on the jump from ledge from Ralphie as that back air uh, will take the first stock from Vince. Again, just going right back to work here. Again, this matchup is just so hard for Roy for the very reasons we just stated. Roy wants to get in your face to get the sweet spots of those, uh, you know, sword conversions. But it's fortunately that's where Wolf loves to keep you, man. Absolutely, and, and Alfie just doing a spectacular job, just kind of both playing around his shield and playing around his range, and then just slightly poking him. And I like the resets, but ooh, sick back air, single hit nair jab for our back air. All right, looking nice, Vince. So, I mean, you know, unfazed looks like Ralphie's trying to put the pressure back on, but Vince not to be outdone. Amazing, trying to rush him down. Struggling to get back on stage right now at the moment. Yeah, unfortunately, where Roy still struggles is in the offstage game. His vertical recovery isn't that great, but because he flies so, like, smoothly through the air, and because stuff like directional air dodge exists, it does give him a little bit of leeway, leeway getting back, except, you know, Vince is at that percent where, as up smash connects out of shield, that his resources are going to get kind of yeah. wasted on his way back to the stage. But yeah. nonetheless, though, uh, Ralphie in firm control of this stock right now, so Vince having a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, definitely barely a little bit of dust on his uh, on his shoes right now. So Ralphie just kind of slowing it down, working those neutral tools with the blazer or er, blaster. But I mean, I feel like if Vince were to get in and just throw a little bit more feints and then probably just throw the grab to get a little more conversions, like Ralphie is doing, he might be able to get um, get a little bit more leeway with this stock. Mm, solid neutral air conversion into a jab right into the up air. Carries no change. Yeah, and there are some instances where getting the, the weak hitbox does kind of help uh, extend combos a bit. Um, so maybe look to Vince to kind of, you know, utilize a little bit more of those. But right now, again, he's still treading a lot of water right now. Ralphie's at the position where he doesn't really have to, you know, think too hard about his punish options. Like, he's not really in any sort of extreme danger. Look, even up till, you know, taking advantage of the high ceiling of Town and City. Because he's swinging. I mean, he's definitely swinging for the fences, and he's landing a couple moves. I would like to see a little bit more, slightly more conservative play, because in this game, it, you know, against these two volatile characters, it really seems like it would be in his best advantage to swing a little bit less, especially with a sword character. You know, you're already giving up, given that range so that you're able to punish a little bit harder. And Wolf, he doesn't have to work as hard to get in that range as, as much as Roy has to. Yeah, but Vince finally able to skate back to center stage. Once again, going to be the same song and dance on the other oh. end of the stage. Could have gotten something really scary there. Roy does have some fantastic low percent conversion. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, the two frame from the forward tilt. That's gonna be game one going to Ralphie. <laughs> that was basically like Scar oh, for the Lion King right there. He's like, <laughs> long live the king. I killed, <laughs> I killed Mufasa. Mufasa. As we take a look at this. In Brother, help me. <laughs> Shot <-ching. laughs> Oh man. Shout out to James Earl Jones, who's once again uh, reprising his role as Mufasa in the live action line. I appreciate that. I still, I want to, um, I haven't gotten a chance to check it out yet. I really, really want to see what they did with the soundtrack. Gotta say, as far as a lot of, like, uh, you know, newer, you know, material. I don't even think the out. movie's out yet. I don't think it comes, it comes out this weekend or next weekend. I don't oh, remember. Oh, it's not out? They only did the trailers for it? I don't remember if, it's, if it comes out this weekend or next weekend. Because oh, I know no. Toy Story came out this weekend. Right. Oh, my God. Which is great, wait. by the way. I saw it on Thursday. Love yeah. It. Love yeah. It. Don't Better. let Better villain than Lotso? It's a very, I like the take they went on the villain. Okay. But it's very, very nice. It's a great movie. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Toy Story 3's Lotso was pretty dope as like a, you know, a toy villain so far. Because in the beginning, yeah. Had... I told, I, I don't think I like this movie more than I like 3, just because of the emotional high that 3 Ooh. left me on. Yeah. Um, as, by the way, it looks like we're going right back to town and city as the bands look like Smashville and Yoshi's okay. uh, from Ralphie. So. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to get a little bit of a stage or a character switch up from here from Vince. I mean, yeah, it looks like Vince is having some technical difficulties with the headphones. Uh, okay. um, yeah, checking him out in his player cam. But, I mean, as far as this matchup goes, I don't think that was too much of a wash for Roy. I mean, outside of uh, Ralphie just kind of 
out kind of while playing him in neutral. I mean, he, he really did a very, very good job of just kind of staying in his range. I just feel, feel that as he was using those, those um, that data from the down tilt pokes, he just kind of started eventually flailing with up tilt, hoping yeah. that he was going to land like a roll read. And then afterwards, he didn't stop swinging to kind of figure out what exactly Rowling right. was going to do next. Yeah. So it would have probably been in his best advantage that after he started to try to poke and measure with the down tilt and test his shield to see what those options were going to be and then react accordingly as opposed to attempting to predict it all the way around. Yeah, it's such a hard matchup, man, just because you look at both these characters. Their archetypes are kind of similar. Right. Um, you know, it's. It, I just always found Roy very counterproductive. It's like you have this sword, but you want to be in somebody's face to get it to work. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. There was never really something that made a lot of sense to me, but regardless, doesn't matter here. We're going to go right back to Town and City for game number two between uh, Vince and uh, Ralphie. Yeah. And I feel like Vince is already, uh, as far as Roy's tools and what he is using very well, I will say this. His Fox Trot, you know, just the waiting in and out that he's doing that, e that ebb and flow. He's doing a really good job as far as movement's sake. I feel like, ooh, really nice stall out there, and he lands that uh, Dancing Blade fourth connector. Yeah, the, uh, the double-edged dance, as it is called, oh, Roy. double-edged uh, dance, my bad. It's all good. I forget sometimes, too. But uh, that could actually be a factor at those later percents, because that move very, very strong if you get the sweet spots on it. It's been called Diet Limit Cross Slash by a lot of people in a lot of circles. Ooh, but oh, there we go. That almost got that the jump. Oh, and it looks like he's dead. Oh, he's dead, dead. Yeah, that, that big bag wolf just took, he literally took it with the nair, followed up expertly. I mean, he did a good job, and that's exactly what I was talking about prior to the match starting. You know, using that measuring from the down tilt, he threw the nair and then followed up just expertly from there. I mean, really good stuff from Vince. Definitely a big change from game one. You see Ralphie trying to get some generator to gun. At least by using the blaster, he kind of forces uh, Vince to approach, you know, from the air, which I think wolf air to air probably does, you know, yeah, as good as a job against Roy as other characters do. Yeah, See, the shield I pressure coming out for Vince is also insane. Yeah. yeah. He's really making him think because he the last time he attempted to punch out of uh, an out of shield option, he jumped and Roy landed that uh, up air flush. But right now, Vince seems wow. to have his number, especially air to air, because the last time he clips him with an up air, this time clips him for a back air for the kill. Oh, God. It's a, a little bit of poor DI on that dash that looked like. I don't think he should have been in a position to die to that. But regardless, Really good stuff there from uh, you know Ralphie. Again, now Ralphie's the one on, kind of on the back foot right now, having him out to come back. I think you know obviously Wolf has all the tools he needs to be able to make that a reality. Right. And he might be a little bit flustered because you can see Ralphie seems to have slightly abandoned uh, a little bit of his long range options here. Uh, and right now he seems to be just going in and, and trying to really just fight him up close to just regain that confidence and also probably put some cold water on Vince's momentum right now because Vince just seems to be going in without any sort of reckless abandon here. Oh, that might be enough. And it Ooh, is. Ooh, grab punish gets freaking blown up by that, <laughs> that uh, double edge dance. Yes, sir, the double edge. Uh, Dance, getting the job done right there, and I think the big Hit thing that, that, that I, yeah, <laughs> the big thing I found the difference in that set was, or at least in that game, um, Vince was making just so much better use of his hit confirms. Yes, like in the past he'd get like one or two hits, it would kind of you know he reset, and then Ralphie would just be able to get back to the ground and then get right. his game going. Vince was able to capitalize on these hits that he was getting, and uh, capitalizing on maybe Ralphie uh, picking an option a little bit too early. I saw a couple times on a, you know, the jab did a little bit cross slash. Right. You know, did a lot of damage and got a kill out of it for it. So. Yeah, I mean, and I'm honestly surprised to see the, some of these bans here because it looks like we're going to obviously ban Kalos and then, or not Kalos, rather, the um, Pokemon, Un Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon and, Stadium and Unova. I mean, if, if I was a betting man, yeah, I was going to say Kalos would have definitely been the next logical pick. He probably wants as little platforms in the way as possible. Yeah, I don't blame him. Because that's, I mean, as, as far as Ralphie's concerned at this point, more platforms means there's going to be way, way, way more um, tech chase situations for Roy to really just blow up. Because between that down tilt and uh, that Tanair, he's going to be able to, you know, catch him more so on those landings. But we'll see what happens as we blow up right into game three. We're going straight to Kalos. We got Ralphie versus Vince. And this is going to be the, the last one here to set. We'll see who actually comes out on top. Yeah, so the big thing that's going to, you know, obviously be the, the name of the game here in Unova is that these platforms are really going to aid in getting off the ledge just because they, you know, extend out over uh, the edges. And also, neutral is going to be huge. And good job from Vince angling the up B to get back. And once again, great damage right there. And that sour spot on the back air, you know, probably aided him 
Getting that follow-up that he needed. Yeah, man. I mean, and what an amazing conversion just from Nair on the sheet or Nair on the stage. He got two of them and then followed right up with that uh, that back air. Just like you said, that sour spot might have actually, if he could have been fast enough, possibly might have been able to squeeze out a Nair depending on his input afterwards. But Ralphie chokes out that back air, sends him back off stage, and then gets the kill, cleans it up with the Nair. Yeah, Vince not even wasting time knowing that he has met his demise right there as he used all of his resources. Uh, but still, Ravi not out of the woods just yet. I think one jab uh, back air or side beat near the ledge will probably result in death. Uh, but you know, let's see if he gives it a chance, because this is where things can get kind of scary. Ralphie is, I think, one of the best players at converting off of you know just those small, minute mistakes and able to you know carry them for huge strings of damage. Yeah. And I'm speaking of out of the woods, it's funny. We got the Big Bang Wolf right here getting back on stage for free. Takes that high road that we were talking about with Anova, but oh my god, Ralphie with the reprisal hits him with that that counterattack. Yeah. Amazing. Great stuff from Vince right there, using having some such great awareness using a counter. When a counter is used like perfectly, there's no better feeling in the world. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I read you. Just blew that up, and then it, confidence literally just plummets. So, I mean, oh, really nice conversion there. Four tilt into the forward air. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and land that blazer and keep Ralphie really to get back on stage. Unfortunately, Vince trying to get back down from the platform. And yeah, we're getting a little bit more of an ebb and flow here mid-stage. You know, struggling in neutral here, just playing the footsies. And Ralphie, it's good. The kick is up. Hits that dash attack, putting Vince back in a disadvantage here. Yeah, and Vince just needs to get out of the corner right now. Able to do so with forward air. Uh, and again, able to retaliate with the side beat. A trade right there is not going to do him any favors. I don't think trading is going to really you know, help either player right now because they're both at uh, dangerously high percents. Yeah. I mean, well, both players, I mean, it's uh, Ralphie's doing a really good job of mixing up. Ooh, we can a little bit of taunt action. Ooh. He said, step your game I won't up. lose. Hey, don't be off stage. Get caught like that. Huh. Yeah, so great stuff there from Vince. And once again, the down tilt, like you said, Evan, uh, really doing a good job right there. Such a good measuring stick. I mean, Ralphie, you know what's really surprising is that Vince has been jumping on stage a lot, you know what I mean, to kind of convert. And that was his first neutral get up in like after three different attempts. I mean, nice shot at the Tomahawk here, but Ralphie, you know, back in the driver's seat, keeps on trying to uh, two frame punish with that forward tilt and it's just coming up short. Yeah, and the longer this goes on, man, like I think Vince is just in the driver's seat right now. Like, this is almost this is very certainly in his favor right now. 210 still can't get the stock off of uh, Vince right now. And we go. And Ralphie very, very quickly punishes that jumping on stage option and able to net that stock really quickly. But now he's got to land, and it's looking a little bit rough. And with stalling out a lot of those options, oh, double edge dance. Not looking like a double edge sword option here in this match. Not going to be enough just yet, but let's see what the, uh, the ledge trap option is. Gets the soft hit of the back air. We are on pins and needles right now. Ralphie with the forward air to the grab. Dash oh! back. Oh, my God. He's the big bad wolf in this. Oh. Oh, we're getting equipped for that one. What an amazing. Oh, oh my God. My Talk about a comeback. My man makes God. the highlight reel. What? Ooh, the awareness on that. Okay, incredible. I'm get, uh, incredible. Fitbit, what's my heart rate? <laughs> Yo, okay. Tell it's gonna tell my right I'm now. I'm at an 88. I'm at an 88. I'm still okay. As Vince Yo. is uh, Vince is pretty pissed. I'm not even gonna Did front. you see that conversion? That, that was, was Nair. <laughs> that was uh I'll Nair. Of a down to throw, man. Oh no, I'm sorry, no, it wasn't. It was forward air to down throw to the dash attack. To home button. To <laughs> yeah, right the down air to, to home, home button. button. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, my God. That's absolutely insane. As we take a look at it again, it says, up, up, up. Yeah, he knew. He's like, yeah. Yo. <laughs> you guys want to play, y'all want to play Monster Hunter? <laughs> right. Yo, y'all got Celeste? <laughs> <Word>? Okay. <laughs> 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 uh. oh, I feel so bad, man. I can see it in Vince's face, and he's, like, very upset. Yeah, uh, crestfallen, man. But, you know. Oh.